What's up guys? We are about two years into my journey back into music, hopefully on my path to being a professional musician again. And uh, at the same time, we are almost eight months into our journey as a nomadic family. And ever since we left our home in December of last year, I haven't had an instrument to practice on for about you know, 80 to 90% of the time uh, that we've been traveling across the US and Mexico. So when I am lucky enough to have an instrument at home, I've been trying to get in practice you know, every day or two. Uh, but for the most part, when we're on the road, this is what my practice has to look like. So I'm gonna take you with me. We are in Miami right now, and I'll be uh, heading to a music store at the mall. Yeah, so we're coming up here to Sam Ash at the Dolphin Mall. I'm gonna give him a shout out because uh, I've had to stop by here a couple of times now. Humongous mega store with anything you could want. And the workers are pretty chill and they just have let me do my thing on the side. Uh, I definitely wanna keep the volume down so that I'm trying not to disturb anyone at all. And then uh, some stretches. So I like to um, start with a little bit of Hannon exercises. Um, I've changed them up a little bit, but the point is to kind of set a baseline for my finger dexterity and technique every time I'm playing, especially when I come off like, you know, a few weeks or a month where I haven't touched a keyboard. So um, I like to start with that. So I'd say that my biggest stride that I've taken in my progression towards uh, being a professional musician again has to do with my mindset in regards to my expectations and sort of my, my standards for myself. And what I mean by that is when I was at my peak musicianship 13, 14 years ago, I was practicing five, six hours a day, you know, and and probably studying music on top of my practice for several more hours. Part of that was because that was what was expected of us. But also, I had a great deal of performance anxiety and stage fright, and, and I, I didn't deal with nerves very well. So I had to be 100% prepared because when I got out on stage, I knew that my performance would then reflect about maybe 60 to 70% of my ability and my preparation, uh, because that's what always happened because of the nerves. And, and so that was always my mentality that, you know, I was practicing five, six hours a day. Uh, and if I had any kind of performance for anyone, high pressure, low pressure, anything, anything really important or not, um, I had to be 100% prepared. And, and that's why I turned down so many performance opportunities. I wouldn't even play for people when we're hanging out. But now, you know, fast forward over a decade in my return to music, and I think that I have accepted now that uh, I'm okay with the 60% output. I'm okay as long as it's good enough um, for the situation. 
and I, I don't need to always be 100% prepared. I don't need to have maximum representation for myself um, because that's not what art is about. And so, you know, that goes hand in hand with the reality of my situation, which is that I can't practice every day. I've accepted that if I can get a couple hours of practice in every week, that's, that's what it's gonna be and I'm gonna be happy with that. You know, 12, 13 years ago, I didn't have the life responsibilities that I have now. I'm, I'm always going to be devoting some of my focus to my businesses. I'm always going to have my responsibilities as a father and as a husband. I'm always going to be managing life um, far beyond what I had to do when I was in my early 20s. And so, um, this is important uh, to allow me to to accomplish the things I want to accomplish. And um, yeah, I've accepted that this is how it is. Um, when I'm in Taiwan too, I'm going to travel, I'm going to do all my different things. And then I'm going to try and get in an hour here, 30 minutes there, you know, a few times a week, uh, whenever I'm able to.
Thanks, Sam Ash. Thank you. So it's been about, I don't know, 45, 50 minutes since I came in. And I feel pretty good. Fingers working well. Um, I've been working on this Korean song, Vinny by Le uh, wait, it's called Letter by Vinny. It's a sort of Korean cartoon. You know, seeing the violins inside Sam Ash reminded me that yeah, I have been practicing violin, kinda. I was doing maybe like once a month, or I don't know, maybe averaging once a month. Um, and uh, and so when we move, you know, that should be a lot more doable. And uh, same with guitar. I haven't been practicing guitar yet, but once I finally get to it, yeah, I think those will be more doable. I'm thinking most likely once I get settled in Taiwan, I'm going to have a rehearsal studio space that I can pop into a couple times a week. Um, and then also I'm planning to get my kids music lessons at a, at a music school. And when I do that, um, hopefully I can make some kind of arrangement where I can practice at the music school. Anyway, that's that. That's the life of me as a uh, musician again, I guess. Uh, as never being like a full, full-time musician, but hopefully still a serious and professional musician. Gonna head home now, spend time with the kids, go swimming, hang out with the family a little bit more because we leave Miami for good uh, in a couple days.